Tēnā koutou e ngā iwi o te motu nei. Nau mai ki te upoko o te ika, te whanganui ātara. Nau mai ki Maru Kaikuru, also known as Shelly Bay here in Wellington City. He karere tēnei kia mōhio, kia mārama ai koutou katoa ki tēnei kaupapa whakahirahira. He karere to share with you a brief update as to why we are here fighting for this whenua. In 2009, the Port Nicholson Block Settlement Trust purchased Maru Kaikuru Shelly Bay from the Crown for $15 million on behalf of Taranaki Whanui Iwi members. Shelly Bay, the crowning jewel of Wellington's waterfront, was now rightfully back in the hands of Iwi, whenua stolen many years ago. In 2014, a special housing accord was signed by the Wellington City Council and the Crown's Housing Minister and the following year, an order by the Council was issued and this included whenua at Shelley Bay. Taranaki Whanui Iwi members were unaware that their land had been approved for housing developments and later in 2015, further sign-off by the Council occurred for a second area of Shelley Bay. Again, this was all done without Iwi knowledge or approval. That same year, the Port Nicholson Block Settlement Trust and the Commercial Board, entities tasked at managing the trust assets on behalf of Iwi members, proposed a special resolution to sell Whenua at Shelley Bay. Given that this was considered a major Iwi asset and transaction, the trust needed approval from the owners and beneficiaries to legally sell the land. This kopapa was put to the descendants to vote on whether to sell Shelley Bay or keep our Whenua. Sadly, thousands of Iwi members did not get a say due to failings of the membership system. 2,752 people had their application to become a registered Iwi member declined, many of them without a clear reason as to why. Another 9,139 registered Iwi members were dropped or lost from the database, many Iwi members unable to have their say. Despite that, on February the 9th, 2016, the Trust lost the special resolution to sell Shelley Bay. Iwi owners and beneficiaries voted no to the sale. Then against the will of its own people, the trustees and directors commenced alternative actions to sell Whenua at Shelley Bay. Concerned that the Trust were secretly moving to sell Shelley Bay at the 2016 AGM, Iwi members moved a unanimous motion for the trustees to immediately seize all sale activity relating to Shelley Bay. The Iwi owners were later told by the trustees that they were not bound by the AGM motion and continued to ignore the wish of their own people. In April 2016, Iwi members sent a letter to Ian Castles advising his company that Shelley Bay was not for sale. They then sent another advising of the AGM motion to seize all sales activity for Shelley Bay with no response from Castles. On July the 7th, 2017, the Port Nicholson Block Settlement Trust secretly sold three separate blocks of Shelley Bay land to Castles Wellington Company Group. Shelly Bay had previously been valued at $23.6 million. The three blocks of prime waterfront property were sold to developer Ian Castles for only $2 million. A fourth and final block of land was later also sold to Castles for $10 million. The sales were not disclosed to Taranaki Iwi members by the trustees. In 2019, Mo Whenua, on behalf of Taranaki Whanui Iwi members, filed a proceedings in the High Court seeking orders to bring the blocks of land located at Shelley Bay, formerly owned by the Port Nicholson Block Settlement Trust, back into Taranaki Whanui Iwi ownership. On November 11, 2020, Wellington City Councillors voted whether to sell 0.3 hectares and lease 0.6 hectares of public land at Shelley Bay to Ian Castle's company. Councillors heard from many aggrieved Taranaki Whanui leaders who opposed the sale and lease. The sale and lease vote passed after three councillors voted for it, even after making pre-election statements that they would vote no. They were Diane Calvert, Terry O'Neill and Jenny Condy. The Ian Castles led development still faces several legal hurdles. An ongoing Māori land court case arguing that the sale of Taranaki Whanui Iwi land at Maru Kaikuru Shelley Bay was illegal. The reinstatement of 12,000 members dropped from the Iwi Register and orders that the Port Nicholson Block Settlement trustees stop operating in breach of 23 articles of their trust deed. 
The Mo Whenua High Court case is currently on hold due to expense, but this has not been withdrawn. A judicial review of the resource consent process is awaiting an outcome. Despite all this, Castles told Radio New Zealand's morning report he would not be slowed down. He mentioned we are starting next week anyway, being Monday the 23rd of November. Despite the whispering of some, Mo Whenua are not anti-development. We represent iwi members and others who oppose the current development proposal at Marukaikuru Shelly Bay. High-density housing for the high-end market is not the answer for this whenua. There is an alternative vision concept for Shelly Bay and the northern end of Te Motukairangi, one that protects our fragile coastline, ecosystem, flora and fauna and allows the whenua to be enjoyed by all for generations to come. We support the Motukairangi Design Collective concept and similar sustainable and accessible developments that benefit iwi members and all New Zealanders. It is also extremely important to know that this is not a joint venture between the developer Ian Castles of the Wellington Company and iwi. Iwi members hold no interest in his companies nor will we profit from this or other Wellington Company developments. The $500 million proposed development benefits the developer and the developer only, and perhaps those wealthy enough to purchase Alfenua. Of serious concern is evidence that Castles and the Wellington Company has already subdivided into 12 sections one of the iwi-owned land blocks that he brought for just under $670,000. We have reports that the 12 sections of our land are being marketed offshore for $1.5 million each. Also of serious concern are reports that the trustees are now giving away rights to Mount Crawford and Watts Peninsula, large tracts of land above Marukaikuru, Shelley Bay. In 2018, the Port Nicholson Block Settlement Trust secretly appointed the Wellington Company as its development manager for this land. Recent information indicates the Wellington Company and the Crown will develop Mount Crawford and some Watts Peninsula land. Iwi will again be deprived of our treaty rights. Our mukupuna will miss out again on the Tūranga Waiwai that their tūpuna fought so hard to get back. Mo Whenua on behalf of Taranaki Whanui Iwi now occupy Marukaikuru, Shelly Bay and related areas. We will continue to do so until the injustices are resolved and the Whenua returned. We invite all those that support an alternative vision for Shelly Bay Marukaikuru to join in this peaceful occupation just like our tūpuna at Parihaka. Nā reira no mai, haramai, simply to visit or tautoko. Join us and follow us on our socials at Mo Whenua Save Shelly Bay and check out our website www.mofenua.co.nz. Nā reira tēnā koutou katoa, toitū te whenua. Mo Fenua.